Hi, welcome to the MOM series, The Misunderstanding of Multiplicity. My name is Maria, and this channel focuses on the misunderstanding of multiplicity and how it's represented in the media. And I wanted to say hello to everyone and just do a video and say uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and uh, Happy New Year. What am I forgetting? Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. Um, what else? Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. But whatever you celebrate, I hope this has been a very festive and loving and healthy and refreshing season for you. Okay, so I said I wouldn't come out here until I actually had something really different and cool to talk about because it really was getting very redundant. We all know that the, or have an idea that media tends to sensationalize things and only show the spectacular of what's happening. So, of course, the media is going to misrepresent what multiple personality and disassociative identity disorder is, at the same time profiting from it with their movies. Um, but there have been a lot of really good, almost true to a lot of people's experiences on uh, movies out there. So that's why I continue to look at every depiction, every portrayal, and um, I was I was very sad to see that Frankie and Alice didn't go really further in the theaters that I thought it would when it came out in April. I think it was a really brilliantly done movie, and um, I told you that I was looking forward to when A Creature of Habit comes out, uh, Journey, by uh, the troops for Trudy Chase, and it's really written by Trudy Chase and the troops. And uh, this is, it's coming out. And so I got permission from Carrie Ainsworth, Trudy Chase's daughter, uh, to go ahead and make a video and talk about the book. So I will consider this video to be like a pre launch or a launch. Um, the book was a real labor of love. Um, this book began back when Trudy Chase and the troops uh, had first written when Rabbit Howls shortly after when they were on their journey together to heal. And they were the first group that, uh, you know, really came to psychiatry and said, with 92 personalities, Trudy Chase said, we're not going to integrate. We make perfect sense together. Um, we were, we're healthier together. We are powerful together. We have conquered so much together. We went through so much together. In honor of each other, we're going to honor each other and stay together. And we function together. They still had to iron out some kinks, though, which every group has to do, and they have their time period. Every person that experiences their life is multiple in a multi multiple system group will still have some kinks within their own internal system they have to work out every now and again. And Trudy Chase and the Troops taught psychiatry that what they thought was the treatment model, and many still do, of merging and fusing and integrating really was as simple as co-running and coexisting so that there was no more split off time or amnesic time or um, where somebody didn't know what somebody else was doing or couldn't control it. Um, so they would decide I'm going to work today and we're, we're going with this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're all going to work today. And that's who is going to be at work today. We're going on a plane today. And this is who's going to be experiencing the plane ride, co-running. We're going on a talk show. We're going to be interviewed by Oprah Winfrey. This is who's going to be there. We're going to, and, and you know, psychiatry at that point, was thinking that 
multiples and alters all were completely disassociated all the time and amnesic all the time and it, if if one if if there was a switch there was amnesia all the time and there wasn't and it was very hard to explain to therapists and clinicians and social workers and doctors how because honestly it it sounded a little more crazy if you could say i don't remember that and I'm, I'm just being truthful with you. If you could say, I don't remember that, then you didn't have to own it. You didn't have to take any responsibility for it. You didn't have to go, Ugh, yeah, I know. You could just say, I don't remember that, that. I didn't do that. Someone else did that. I must have been switching. And it became the excuse, the abuse excuse disease because of that. Um, what Trudy... And the troops did was they taught us personal accountability. They taught multiples personal accountability by teaching us co-running. And by teaching that it's okay to stay together and still be plural, uh, sharing a body. And so Carrie uh, wrote me and sent me the finished book that the troops and... Uh, Trudy had begun way back in the 90s when they embarked on their journey to wellness. Uh, and a lot of people in the multiple community thought for years ago that Trudy and the troops went to Ireland and in their journey to Ireland that they um, gained greater uh, healing. And I don't know if this came from an article that somebody wrote or what, but um, we don't know. What we know is that the troops and Trudy definitely talked to their daughter, Carrie, before they passed away. They passed away March 10th, 2010, and they it was their dream to fulfill to get that book together. And they really saw a need in the multiple community to get on with the journey and get well and and to give the tools the one more bit of tools besides co-running and 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 organizing your internal group to work together negotiating and living together well one more tool they had was how do we face down our fears our triggers our panic our anxiety our our um the pain of, of things that were said to us that maybe we still believe, that maybe we don't want to believe, but subconsciously we believe. Um, how do we how do we get past that? And this book is about that journey. It's about the creature's journey, uh, a creature of habit, and that is everyone. Everyone is a creature of habit. We do what we know works for us. We do what's familiar. We do what feels safe. We do what helps us survive. Uh, it, and you don't have to be multiple or diagnosed DID or MPD. This book really looks at a time period where Trudy and the, the troops were had said, okay, you know, it's not about multiplicity or the label or us all existing together. It's about, we really are dealing with post-trauma stress here, post-traumatic stress. So now how do we stop being terrified? How do we stop having panic attacks? How do we do everything we need to do together for the more fearful? And, and it really um, tramples on fear. It tramples it down, this book, in such a whimsical, innocent uh, way. It's full of allegory and beautiful scenery and really some real witty truths that just, they, they linger with you. Um, the characters, <clears throat> excuse me, that the creature meets on, on uh, his journey all have a place in his uh, his healing, his recovery. And this book is for, it could be for a five-year-old, a six-year-old, a seven, any age. 
any hardship you've gone through. You don't have to be multiple. You don't have to have DID. You just have to be a human being that uh, has wants wants to be their best they can be, and has had some really heavy maybe stuff that they've gone through or not, and. Um, or maybe you don't even know. Maybe it's not even it's so subconscious. You don't even know why you do what you do. But this book, it, uh, it's incredible because if you read When Rabbit House, you will recognize the voices in the writing of Creature of Habit, The Journey, uh, A Journey. Um, the the thing that gives me chills is that Carrie wrote me and she said she really wanted to wait until February 22nd to release the book and do a lot kind of like a pre-launch activity and get people knowing that the book was ready and get some pre-sales going and some events so um, when she told me the date she said it was her mother's date her mother's birthday February 22nd the book will be published February 22nd on Trudy Chase's birthday and I think my god this book was a labor of love for her daughter to do to put it together and in the process she was finding illustrations that different troop members have written had put together for the book she was finding the font that her mother Trudy had written that she wanted to use in a different portion and how she wanted it laid out in like a poetic form over here and prose over here and how she was able to after her mother and the troops passed away put this book together is really really a feat that uh, I think this book will just um, should be on every shelf in every uh, counselor's office, every school teacher's office, every parent should have this book. It does not it, it does not introduce thoughts that your child might not have. It's for anybody that's just it, it's it's about a creature who's afraid and who who needs to just move on in life. And uh, you will find yourself in the pages of a creature of habit and a journey and it is a journey and the the allegory and the metaphor is incredible and the scenery in the book and it's over 300 pages when she sent it to me and she said have the mosaics read it and you read it and let me know do you think it really will make a difference do you think what's your opinion will it make I just bawled my eyes out I was cooking and cleaning and making cookies and reading the book and I couldn't stop reading the book it was Thanksgiving weekend and I read it five times and I wrote back to Carrie and I said this is the book that we've all been waiting for because it doesn't say oh it's because of multiplicity it's because of disassociativeness it's because of that trauma it doesn't say it's because you're DID or you're MPD or you're post-traumatic stress or you were molested or you were abused or you witnessed someone being uh, abused or you were in, in a trauma it what it says is you are human the creature is human and we we all have the same anxieties to deal with and we all have different resources to deal with it and different um, things that bring it on and coping mechanisms and please go get the book February 22nd go to trudychase.com go to Facebook Trudy Chase go to Carrie Innings Innsworth on Facebook uh, Carrie Carrie yeah Innings Ainsworth I said that uh, I thought I said it backwards on Facebook all of our contact information is on trudychase.com. It'll probably be on the shelves at Australia Net, uh, Plural, Lynn W, Many Voices, ISSTD, Trauma and Disassociation, DID Project. Whatever you do, get the book, own it, enjoy it, and thank you for listening. Bye.